This is how to do a squat using a Smith machine. I've got the bar ready with the appropriate amount of weight and I've got a barbell pad attached to the bar as well just for some additional comfort. This would be optional if you don't feel like you need it then don't worry about it. Begin by coming underneath the bar and you're going to be resting the bar on your upper traps, that squishy spot right at the top of your shoulders, not on the bones of your neck and not down on your spine. And I'm going to take hold of the bumpers by rotating the bars with my feet slightly forward and just wider than my hip width and a turn out on my toes. Sit your hips back as if you're going into a chair. When you reach the bottom of your squat, we're going to unlock the bumpers to release the bar from here. Press through the heels to come back up into a stand. Now we're free from the bumpers and you can continue on going through your reps. Ensure your chest points up to the ceiling throughout this exercise and your hips should be sitting back. So if you feel like the if you feel like the bar is trying to hinge you forward, check the position of your feet. Your feet should be a little bit forward and you can rely on the machine to keep you in a tall posture and sit your hips back with plenty of weight in your heels without the worry of falling backwards. So being forced into that straight line is going to ensure that your form is proper and maintained throughout the exercise. And then from then, all you have to think about is pushing yourself up out of that deep squat and thinking about activating your glutes to drive you out of your squat throughout every rep.